guys! Welcome back to my channel and my name is Natalia and today I've got a very exciting unboxing for you so as you may recognize this uh, this logo uh, this is a package from Dye Moon Shop or DIY Moon Shop um, however you want to call them um, they're kind of a luxury um, diamond painting company so I don't get to order from them very often and actually I didn't expect to order this from them at first but then I was lucky enough to win a little gift card on Instagram uh, so it was just a $10 gift card uh, but at the same time they had a sale going on which included one of the paintings that I wanted to try from them so I thought okay if I add this sale I think it was like 20% off and the gift card then I get a little bit off uh, so so they are a bit on the pricey side normally so the canvases themselves are quite pricey plus also um, the um, the shipping is also quite on it's a bit on the expensive side so so that makes them maybe a little bit less affordable but every now and then it's nice to treat yourself because look it they arrive in this beautiful wrapping paper uh, with a little ribbon as well um, apologies for the holes this is actually me <laughs> <laughs> it didn't arrive with the holes um, I was trying to take off the plastic packaging around it so it arrives in a plastic packaging so it, it arrives by FedEx um, but um, it was so tight and I was trying to cut through it and I couldn't take it off and then eventually I ended up making some holes in the packaging so it was me not the company <laughs> yeah it, it arrived in the paper perfect condition um, yeah, so it's a really nice packaging. When you order from Diamond Shop, uh, so I think I ordered this canvas at the start of August and it arrived not the not last week but the week before. So so maybe like six weeks or, or something around then. Uh, it takes from the time of order to the time of, that you get your canvas. Uh, so I'm in the UK. Uh, the company is based in Philippines. Um, and uh, well, basically the, the reason why it takes so long is because they actually make their canvases to order. Uh, so they don't have any in stock. Um, you place your order and then they start producing the canvas. And then as they pack them up, uh, they add some little goodies as well um, to the package. And, and they also they, they record the, the packing process so that you can actually see what goes inside your package. And then they email you and they ask if, if you... So, so basically they post the video on YouTube. You can have a look at the, vi uh, at the video of the packing. Uh, make sure that everything is in there that you were expecting to be in there. And if you're happy with, with what you saw on the video, that, that you can tell them, yeah, this is, uh, you know, I'm happy with that. They will ask you to confirm your address. And then, um, and then basically that your order gets shipped. But of course, um, the whole process takes a bit of time. So that's why there's a bit of wait uh, with these canvases. All of their canvases are licensed. Uh, so the artists get paid for, for the hard work that they're doing, uh, which is fantastic. And that's why I do like this company, despite the very high price. I appreciate the fact that they pay their artists, um, you know, I assume, you know, that that's why the costs are so high. And of course, shipping from Philippines uh, has to be uh, expensive. So so I understand the, the, the pricing, but also um, it is a little bit less affordable. Uh, so I don't order from them very often. This is only my second order. Um, I definitely want to order from them again in the future. Um, but anyway. I'll show you what this canvas is and then we, we can we can talk as, as we go. Um, so first of all, I need to open this beautiful packaging, uh, which is always a shame. I, I'm not going to keep it. I don't keep my wrapping papers. Um, so, so I'm just going to rip into it basically. And I have my scissors on hand as well. Oh, so there's like another layer, another green layer underneath. Ooh, this is like opening a Christmas gift. Honestly, guys, it's so exciting. Right, so. A ribbon. Okay. Right, so now we have the green layer and it says a little thank you. There's a little, oh sorry, <laughs> you're out of frame. <laughs> right, <laughs> sorry, my camera is a little bit, so I've got a different setup today. So my camera is in a different place and I can't see it very well, but I think now you can see the thank you sticker, hopefully. And what else, what else? So when we open this up, Oh my goodness, how many layers is there? Now we have a cardboard layer. It's like this little ration doll, isn't it? <laughs> you just keep finding new layers. Um, okay, for this I will need the scissors, uh, that's for sure. Uh, so this, this is all taped up. And I just need to obviously be careful um, you know, to not cut too deep, to not cut into my canvas. Mm. Oh, 
Ta-da! <laughs> so, if you have seen, oh, let me put the rubbish aside because that's probably on the camera as well. Yeah. Okay. So, if you have seen my, actually my very first video, so this is quite a brand new channel, uh, but my very first video was also unboxing Diamond Shop Order, um, but that one was from there, um, so that was a few months ago when I bought it, and since then they have changed the, their canvases, the, so, so they use different material, and the way they print their diamond paintings is a little bit different. Um, and they've also changed the way they package their drills and my understanding is that they also switch to resin drills uh, so we're going to have a look at that but I can already feel the difference so this is a very soft fabric on the back so it's kind of uh, it's got a little bit of that velvety feel to it and you can see that it's serged around the edges um, I don't think the previous ones were serged around the edges I don't remember that and they definitely weren't that soft on the back so um, I like that I like the feel of that it feels really really nice okay so right well this painting I, I haven't explained this kind of fits the season it fits the season and the reason why it was discounted discounted so there was a sale on uh, was because it was one of their Halloween uh, sale items and it's the painting that I was already looking at before that I'd quite like to do uh, and I've seen other people work on this painting and, and I thought oh it looks really beautiful and, and um, there's a reason why I wanted this specific painting I kind of let me just I don't want to show you straight away what it is so first of all let's open this up and see so what can I <laughs> I'm trying to get the things from inside but they're not coming out I need to open this part up um, so so yeah, so the painting fits the season. Um, it is um, it is art artwork by Margaret Margaret Morales. Sorry, Margaret Morales. There we go. So you're gonna see it now anyway. Um, let me. So the drills come in this plastic package. Let me now see. You, you can see on the camera. Yeah. So they come in this plastic package. Um, so now they come in Ziploc bags. They didn't used to do that. They used to come in these um, plastic bags that you had to cut open. And now this is, if you like working from bags, you can just work straight away from these drills. Like you, you don't have to keep them up because they're already in bags or you can transfer them to containers if you prefer. And now they come with inventory sheet. So that's different as well. Um, They've changed a few things actually, I can see another change. So I didn't order this painting with uh, special drills. So as you may know, Diamond Shop offers for most of their paintings, or you can also, you can request that for any painting, um, they offer special treatment drills, uh, which are basically either crystals or ABs or some other special drills that you can add to your painting and they give you suggestions where you might add it. I didn't request it for this painting because I was actually planning to just buy my own ABs, which I did. I bought my own ABs uh, to add to this painting. But since then, they've actually decided to start adding ABs to all of their kits. So you can also order special treatment, but even, even if you don't, they still add ABs to your painting. And I didn't know that when I was ordering it, so I ordered ABs anyway. And now... Funnily enough, funnily enough, I also ordered black um, black ABs, um, but from a different company, so from uh, Diamond Art Studio UK. Um, so it'll be exciting as well to see how they compare. Um, and I ordered also some purple and some some orange ABs as well. Uh, well, I ordered a few colors, and but I was really wanting, uh, I really wanted orange, and I think red, uh, red as well. Yeah, so, so I've got a few colors of ABs that I would like to use on this canvas. Uh, but they've added black ABs. I'm not sure if they've added any other ones. Let's have a look. So now you see this is the artwork. So it's La Vida by Margaret Morales. And I ordered it in the, I think it's the biggest size, size available. It's 50 by 69 centimeters because I wanted it in a really nice resolution. I wanted this painting to really shine. I wanted to have all the details, especially on these butterflies. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, but I really wanted to have the details. So I went for the largest size, 50 by 69. I didn't go for special treatment. Um, I didn't think they're what they were offering because you can have a preview. Uh, they do little videos of their special treatment. And I didn't think their special treatment was special enough to justify the price uh, because it was basically just adding a b drills um, but they didn't seem also like 
like the like the ones that I would pick if I was adding special treatment. So that's why I didn't go with that option. Uh, here you can see the list of colors. Um, yeah, so, so this painting is in rounds, I should say as well. So in Diamond Shop, unfortunately, you have to pay more if you'd like to have squares. Um, but also I really like rounds, so I don't really mind working in rounds. But you know, of, of, of course you have to keep in mind that uh, the same size painting, if it's in rounds, it will be less detailed than in squares. So that's also why I went for the bigger size, because you'll get more resolution, um, you know, compared to, to uh, you know, if, if you have if you had a smaller one in squares that would be better than <laughs> oh god i got all muddled up so basically <laughs> squares are smaller than rounds and it's just it was just better for me to get the bigger size in rounds uh, because i didn't want to pay more for the squares never mind never mind um i hope somebody here means uh, knows what i mean if not just ignore me ignore me okay so this is her this is her she's beautiful and uh, we'll have a look at the canvas in a minute so the list of colors there's 38 of them and we can see that there's one ab and it's the black ab uh, which is great i love the black ab's um i i'm actually really excited to work with them uh, really excited because I already I already saw the ones I ordered from uh, Diamond Art Studio. Actually, let me let me grab them. Okay, so I grabbed my little box of special drills that I have um, ordered. Um, it, they're not all from Diamond Art Studio, so actually, I think it's just these three. I can't even remember. I think it's just these three colors that I ordered from Diamond Art Studio. The iPhone would work really well on this painting. We'll have a look in a minute at the canvas, but looking at the colors here. Obviously, there's a lot of black in this painting, a lot of black. Um, there's also there's also lots of orange. So we have these orange um, orange drills as well. So I think orange and yellow. So I think this will look, work really nicely as well with the ABs. Um, we also have lots of red. Um, so if we look in the back, a lot of reds. So I was thinking red ABs would be fantastic as well. And we'll have a look at the canvas where I may add them. Um, so anyway, so this is, yes, this is the color, um, the color scheme for this painting. So it's very red and pink um, and yellow, orange, uh, as well as, of course, lots of black um, and a little bit of gray as well and purple. Yeah, there's a bit of purple in there as well. So I'll put this aside. But so yes, so I also have other special drills that I bought from other companies, like for example this lovely 550. So there's quite a bit of, by the looks of it, there's quite a bit of 550 on this painting. So I may be able to also use them. These I, I bought from uh, Shimmering Canvases. Um, no, Shimmering. Shimmering? <laughs> I'll put the name. I think it is Shimmering Canvases. Uh, but I'll put the name on the screen just in case I, I forgot what it really is. Um, but that they're based in the US and I've got quite a few different colors from them and I think this one will work with this painting. I also have some crystals which, who knows, I may be able to use some of them. Also from the same company. Um, shimmering, I think it's shimmering canvases. I'm really not sure right now, but yeah. Uh, so I've got some like red crystals and also some, um, I think these are some leftover purple crystals, but also like some, some of these purple crystals, um, and these ones. So, so I've got lots of colors that I think some of these I will be able to use on this painting. I think, yeah. Oh, these are nice as well. This is, is this five, five no, three, seven, four, six. Yeah, so so I'm quite excited to try and blink this painting up. But okay, but let's have a look at the canvas because you guys are probably dying to see it and I still haven't shown you. Okay. A little insert here because of course I did forget something. Uh, so, so Diamond Shop um, gives you gives you some goodies as well with the canvas. Sorry, I got too excited and I threw it on the floor and I, I obviously forgot about this altogether. But they give you some stickers usually with your orders and for me they gave me a sticker with a butterfly, you can see that, which is lovely because obviously they, they know I love butterflies. Um, Everyday Astronaut sticker. Um, yeah okay <laughs> and um a castle kind of um sweet castle yeah this kind of uh, lollipop castle thing uh, and then of course you get a toolkit as well personally um i forgot to tell them i forgot to tell them that i don't actually need a toolkit from them because i'm personally not a fan of their toolkits so 
Oh, that's better. Oh, look, they oh, oh, they've improved. So they used to give you these green trays, and then uh, I think on another video I saw that somebody else got these long white trays. Uh, I don't like either the green ones or the long ones, but now I like these trays. They're the big white trays. Um, it's, it's a little bit bigger than, than some of the other companies. Um, oh, so that's nice. Uh, and then they just give you the standard pens with, um, I think these are seven or six, seven placers, something like that. Um, and a little, I don't, I'm not fond of these tweezer, tweezers. They're just uh, the cheapy tweezers. Um, but I'm, I'm glad that at least they've improved the tra trays. I wish they gave you a little bit more of a luxury toolkit. Um, it doesn't have to be super luxury, but maybe just, I don't know, a little bit more special. Maybe the tweezers could be a bit more special. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. I'm glad the trays are improved. So, so that's something, yeah, something good as well. Some good improvements in this kit, definitely. Okay, guys, now back to the main video. So, as Lisette would say, tam tam tam. <laughs> I need to figure out my own, my own tam tam tam. <laughs> I don't know, but this is this is her. This is this is the canvas. Let me roll it backwards a little bit so that we can actually see it properly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So these board glue canvases, you can safely roll backwards and it won't damage them. So another thing that this company have changed, uh, besides the, the actual fabric that, the, that this is printed on, is the fact that now uh, they used to do this walking legend. So the legend used to be separate from the painting. Now we have a legend on the canvas itself. It's part of the canvas. You can obviously you could cut it off if you wanted and uh, because it's, it's after that, that gray frame. Uh, but you can also just keep it together with the canvas. Uh, and something that I was complaining about, if you saw uh, my like, um, my post review of the last Diamond Shop painting that I was working on, I was complaining about the clarity of the legend. For me, it was really, really hard to read. And I'm so glad to see that they've improved that. Just look at that. Finally, I can actually see the symbols and see what they are uh, from far away. So that's fantastic, fantastic news. I'm, I'm really, really glad about that. Now, the reason why I was so fascinated by this canvas is actually these lovely monarch butterflies. Um, they, I wanted them so big and so detailed. That's why I wanted to go for the biggest size because I didn't want to lose any resolution on these butterflies. So we've got one here at the bottom of the canvas and I would really like to blink this one up. So these oranges and the reds. Oh, I'd love to add some here, um, some bling, either either ABs or crystals. I'll probably try different things and see what works best. And then we have another one right here on top, in the top corner. This beautiful butterfly and the monarch butterfly. Um, so there is a reason why these monarchs are here. I'm sure you may be familiar with the the celebration of, of you know, the Mexican celebration of the Diaz. No, it's, it's Day of the Dead, right? So Diaz does... What? <laughs> I don't speak Spanish. <laughs> you can tell me if you speak Spanish. Well, it's called in Spanish. I always forget. Um, but it's the Day of the Dead. And uh, it's a beautiful celebration. I really love... Uh, I've never been to Mexico and obviously I've never been part of this celebration live. But I really love the sound of like, the, the tradition. And and these uh, face paintings, they're, they're inspired, of course, by, by the skulls. So, so this is meant to represent a skull. Um, so, so it's really representing someone that has passed away. But it's not in a, in a kind of sad way. It's more celebrating... Um, celebrating death and celebrating the fact that it's part of life, that de death is part of life and it's beautiful uh, in itself. And, and these monarch butterflies, they actually are believed to be the spirits of the dead that are coming. Uh, so so, so these, these are very famous butterflies. I'm not sure how much you know about them, but these are the butterflies that migrate for, for thousands of miles uh, across from Canada and US to Mexico. Um, and then they do this return journey back um, and, and that takes several generations of the butterflies. So they kind of, they, uh, they die and the next generation comes back to the place where they were born. And it's a very beautiful migration. And so they come to Mexico, I think around the time when, when this, this Day of the Dead is happening. So they used to, they, uh, I think traditionally um, there was a, this legend or, you know, the belief that these actually represent, these butterflies are actually the spirits of, of the dead coming coming to celebrate that day coming to see their relatives 
So I think it's really meaningful, meaningful, um, you know, artwork in in its way, and, and it's a meaningful tradition. And these face paintings, they they're also very meaningful. So they're meant to celebrate someone who has passed, uh, but also, uh, but also, it's kind of it's it's showing. I think these colors also they're, they're very uh, symbolic. Um, so I think the white stands for purity, and and the yellow stands for for the sun, and that we're all equal under the sun. Uh, so there's a lot of meaning uh, in those colors on their face as well. And I love I love the colors of this artwork. Uh, I love how beautiful she is. Um, you know, it's a, it's it's just I don't know I don't know I just feel really drawn into this this painting itself, and also because I do love I love butterflies, and I used to be really fascinated by the monarchs when I was a kid. Um, unfortunately, now their populations are declining very rapidly, and and it looks like they may so they're actually endangered species right now, which is a great shame. So when I was a kid, there was millions and millions of monarchs out there. Uh, they used to flock, flock uh, in these million groups of millions, and and basically sitting all all over the trees. Um, but now apparently it's it's only you know a few thousands of them that are left. Uh, so so they are an endangered species at the moment um, due to the climate change and deforestation and and stuff. So uh, so it is a bit of a shame. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of to celebrate those things in this painting, celebrate the monarchs, how beautiful they are these these lovely colors and and yeah I, I think you know personally I believe that you know once we die we are still part of this world in, in a different way but you know that the spirits you know or you know there's something left left of us and and uh, it is somehow present in in this world and and we you know we we do come back uh to 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 protect our relatives and make sure they're okay i really believe that so so this painting is meaningful to me also in that way but anyway um uh, well let me guys know um let, <laughs> let me know guys <laughs> sorry i'm getting all muddled up today but let me know guys um what you think of this canvas um you know do you like it and um, do you like the colors um so looking at the clarity of the symbols let me just have a look closer um i can try and zoom you let me see if i can do this thing this may get messy but let's try okay so you should be able now let me just stabilize the camera, it's bouncing. Okay, so looking at her eye, for example, that's another reason why I wanted it in a big size, because I wanted the eyes to be detailed. Uh, so we can see that there are quite a few different colors here, um, and they're all like quite a few of them are printed on dark background. But we can see, um, well, from me, my point of view, I can see the symbols very clearly. I'm moving to a different different sections so again some darker usually the darker colors are the more difficult then we have all the beautiful reds and pinks and oranges and yeah and I think I think we can definitely definitely read those symbols very clearly from my point of view there's nothing here that I would be worried about um, they seem very clear to me so I'm happy with that so if I zoom you out again Okay, that's a bit better. Okay, so now looking at where we could put those um, special drills that I was talking about, I definitely again want to blink up both the butterflies, that's for sure. I was thinking adding some like um, maybe crystal or, or red ABs um, into these lovely flowers. I think that would be really, really lovely to get them a little bit of sparkle. Obviously not the whole thing, but ju just here and there. Maybe where the light, as uh, so you can see, the light is, is reflecting in some part of the flower more, so that the lighter parts, maybe adding some bling in there. I think that would be really nice. Um, I'm not sure if I'd want to bling up anything on her face, but I was thinking these lovely... So she's got ribbons in her hair, which are kind of a mix between black and purple, so these dark colors. And I think these, these black ABs um, and the purple, maybe some purple ABs, would look really nicely in these ribbons. So I'd probably like to try that. And then probably it would be nice to bling up that color here now. So these black ABs, again, would be lovely uh, to, to add here. Now, I know that they've actually charted the black ABs into the painting. However, looking at it, they've charted it everywhere. So basically, these black ABs are going everywhere, according to them. I'm not sure if I'd want to do that. Um, 
it's in maybe just a little bit too much for me i prefer to just add them in some places um so be a little bit more selective about it um because they're adding them here on her face or on her eyes they're adding them on the butterflies they're adding these black abs everywhere uh, everywhere here um and it's just um you know it's, it's quite a lot i think it's fine maybe on her dress so so if you can see so the, her corset here i think it would be fine to add some black abs here uh, it would match quite nicely with the color as well but i wouldn't want to probably add them on the butterfly i don't think uh, which is charted at the moment i probably wouldn't want to put them like in the background like here i don't think it needs to be a b here um it's just you know it's, i think a b's uh, should really serve to emphasize some of the, uh, you know, just, just some of the more kind of, I don't know, like some special parts of the painting rather than the whole thing. Uh, so, so yes, I'll probably be a bit more selective than they were in their charting about where I place these black ABs. Um, yeah, but so are they actually, they haven't actually given me normal ABs. So that's the only, uh, sorry, normal black drills. So that's the only thing that I'm a little bit disappointed about, that they didn't give me an option of just having the normal black. Uh, but the thing is, I will have a lot of black uh, drills in my stash, I'm sure, from other paintings. And I can just use those to replace those black ABs that are charted on the painting. I just don't think it's a good idea um, to, to do everything in the AB black. And unfortunately, they didn't provide a normal black uh, 310. Um, and that's for me, that's a little bit of a disappointment. I think they should give you an option. So I think they should uh, maybe give you both um, the normal black and the AB black. Um, because I think most people wouldn't want to use the, um, the black ABs everywhere. But that's like really the only minus um, that I would say, but of course I have lots of blacks in my stash So I'm not I'm not too, you know, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's nothing too crazy disappointing for me Hi guys, so a little update here because I actually went uh, through all my drills Well, not through all of them, but I actually went looking whether they maybe included some normal free tens so these were not listed on the inventory sheet or on the legend, but actually there was a bag of three tendrils, just the normal three tendrils. I we can see a handwritten label here. So I think in the end the company decided to add some normal three tens. Um, so so they've not listed that on the inventory sheet again, but but they did add it in the end. Uh, so we have a bag of three tens. It's not a very big bag, so so looking at this amount and the size of the painting um, and then if we compare it to how much um, AB drills they gave me, so how much this is the AB 310s versus the normal 310s, um, we can see that, that they probably assumed that I was mostly going to use the, the AB 310s and then on some occasions I may want to use some of these normal 310 drills. Um, personally, I still think this is not enough. But I'm glad they've added them in. I'm, I'm really glad that there were some normal free tens as an option added to this painting. I would prefer if it was the other way around. So if I had that many normal free tens versus that many um, AB free tens. But on the other hand also it's really nice to, to you know, it's much easier to get free tens. I'll have lots of normal free tens in my stash. But I will have very few, you know, I have to buy them separately. And, and of course ABs are more expensive. Uh, than, than normal drills. So, so, you know, having the big bag of ABs, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, so I'm glad that they've included it. I'm sorry that I said before that they didn't. Um, I was wrong. Um, so yes, yeah, so I just wanted to insert that correction. I also realized that I didn't look at the quality of the drills uh, in the video. Um, and um, I mean, I can't see any trash. And of course, I was curious whether these are indeed resin drills. I can't really like it's it's actually very difficult for me to say for sure um but i think they are quite sparkly so i've also taken a couple of other colors i think sometimes it's easier to see on these brighter colors they do seem very very sparkly to me uh so they probably are i mean i also trust other creators when they say these are resin drills um they do seem yeah i think these yellows they, they look like resin drills to me it's very hard for me to say on the dark drills uh but i think that from the light drills these seem to me like resin yeah 
So I would agree that these probably are resin drills. So I just wanted to add this little insert. Sorry for interrupting the video again. <laughs> <laughs> but what would it be, you know, my, my channel without having, you know, corrections and random inserts and stuff? It, it would just be boring, wouldn't it? So, <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Thank you so much, guys. Um, yeah, but I think that's it, really. Um, I'm not going to measure this canvas. I'm, I mean, I've, it's not important to me if it's exactly the, the size that they say it is. Uh, I'm quite sure it will be. Um, but for me, it looks beautiful as it is. I'm happy with that. Um, so I don't feel the need to measure it, honestly. Um, I mean, it may be useful, I guess, for framing um, to, to, you know, to know the exact size. But then again, you can cut a little bit. If, if you really need to adjust the frame, you can always cut some, some edges or, or add a little bit of, um, you know, of, of mount around uh, to even it out. Okay, but so, so I think this is it. I can't think of anything else that I should tell you. Um, probably I'm forgetting something. It's quite likely that I am. Um, but anyway, um, just yeah, let's just have one last look at her because I think she is. She is absolutely gorgeous, isn't she? She is beautiful. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And these butterflies, I love them so much. So much. Yeah. So, okay, thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, uh, you can give me a like, you know, it would be much appreciated. Um, if you're not subscribing to my channel yet, but you think you might like some more of my videos, uh, then definitely subscribe down there. There's a red button and you can click on the bell if you'd like to get notified about any new videos that I post. Um, and yeah, basically, it was lovely to see you today. Um, have a lovely day or a lovely evening, wherever you are. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts about this painting and I hope to see you in my next video. Okay, guys. Bye.